In this lesson, I am going to discuss some inequality theorems in Rn. Suppose that u and v are vectors, then the absolute value of the dot product of u and v is less than or equal to the product of the magnitudes of u and v. This is known as the cauchy schwarz inequality. Let us verify this inequality for these vectors u and v. First, let us compute u dot v. This is equal to 1 times 2 plus negative 1 times 0 plus 3 times negative 1. So this is 2 minus 3. That's negative 1. Next, the magnitude or length of u is the square root of 1 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 3 squared. We're just getting the square of the components, add them up and get the square root. So this is 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 9 is 11. So we have square root of 11. And the norm of V is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of 5. Here is my Cucci Schwarz inequality. U dot V, the absolute value is equal to 1. The norm of U is square root of 11. And the norm of V is square root of 5. So indeed, 1 is really less than or equal to square root of 55. So we have just verified it. Next, we can talk about the angle between two vectors. The angle between two non-zero vectors in Rn is given by this. The dot product of u and v all over the product of the magnitudes of the two vectors. By cauchy schwarz inequality, the absolute value of u dot v is less than or equal to this one. So therefore, if I divide both sides by this one, the inequality will not change since this is positive. So we get that this value is less than or equal to one. In particular, this expression is between negative 1 and 1. So here are some possibilities. So in this case, your the angle between u and v is 180 degrees. So theta is pi in radians. So therefore, your cosine theta here is equal to negative 1. Here, your theta is pi over 2, 2 pi, which means that your cosine theta is greater than negative 1 but less than 0. Here, your theta is between 0 to pi over 2. You have an acute angle, meaning to say your cosine theta is between 0 to 1. Here, the angle is equal to zero, which means that your cosine theta is equal to one. In our next lesson, we will be interested in this case, wherein your theta is equal to pi over two. That means that cosine theta is equal to zero. But if cosine theta is equal to zero, cosine of theta, the definition is u dot v all over the norm of u times the norm of v. For this product to be equal to 0, that means that the numerator has to be equal to 0. So hence, from here we can see that if the dot product of two vectors is equal to 0, that means that they are perpendicular to each other. We will discuss orthogonal vectors in Rn in the next video lecture. Let us have some examples first. Suppose that u is this vector and v is this vector. Let us find the angle between these two vectors. Let me write the formula. The cosine theta is u dot v all over norm of u times norm of v. u dot v is equal to negative 4 times 2 plus 0 times 0, 2 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times 1. So we have negative 8. Minus 2 is negative 10. Minus 2 is negative 
12. Next, the norm of u is the square root of, get the squares, negative 4 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, so that is the square root of 16 plus 4 plus 4, so that's square root of 24. The norm of V is 2 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 1 squared. So that's square root of 6. So hence, this is negative 12 all over square root of 24 times square root of 6 which is equal to negative 12 over square root of 144, which is negative 12 over 12 or negative 1. So we now have cosine theta is equal to negative 1, which means that what is your angle? Your angle is equal to pi or 180 degrees. Well, of course, if you just eyeballed it, take note that u is equal to negative 2v. So that means that u and v are scalar multiples of each other and u is in the opposite direction of v. So hence, if this is my v, my u is twice the length of v to the opposite direction. So hence, the angle is really equal to 180 degrees. Here is another inequality theorem for vectors in Rn. Triangle inequality for vector says that norm of the sum of two vectors is less than or equal to the sum of the norms. Also for distances, the distance between uv is less than or equal to the distance of uw plus the distance of wv. Here is a diagram for triangle inequality for vectors. Here is my u, here is my v, and this length is the length of u, this length is the length of v, u plus v is this one. This length here is the same as the length of u, and this length here is the same as the length of v. So hence, this plus this is really greater than or equal to this length. For the triangle inequality for distances, you can view your vectors just to imagine them as points. So here is the distance between u, v. This is the distance between u and w. And here is a distance between w and v. So distance of u, v is less than or equal to the sum of these two. So that's why we have triangle inequality. Let us verify the triangle inequality for these two vectors here. So for the first one, let's compute the length of u plus v. This is the length of the vector 1, 0, 2. This is my u plus v, so therefore that length is 1 squared plus 2 squared, so that is equal to 5. And for norm of u, that's equal to square root of 1 plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. So that's square root of 2. The norm of v is square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. So that is square root of 5. So hence here, the norm of u plus v is Square root of 5, is it less than or equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 5? Yes. I will leave it up to you as an exercise to verify the triangle inequality for distances for these two vectors.